<laughs> You're so quiet though. You're around. Yep. All right, we have a uh, we have the run back. Lyric versus Mouse Rat. <sighs> uh, after the set, uh, Mouse Rat said that you, that Pikachu's carry. And I'm not gonna comment on the on the on the truthfulness of that comment, but I do. I kind of understand where he's coming from, so. If he lands one of these hits, and that's gonna be a lot of push out. Look at this. Yeah, no. No, heavyweights versus Pikachu is not a great time. It's not fun. I think DDB beats Pikachu. Anyways, right now Mousetrap able to get a back here. Tries to go for the spike. Down B is not able to connect it, only a little bit of damage. Right now he has to find a way to get out of the uh, off of ledge and back onto stage against Charizard, which is easier said than done. Good use of the T-Jolt, but that could have really backfired had Beast timed it just right to hit the T-Jolt and extend his own hitbox. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know how to follow that up. That was just really that was really quick. Cool. <laughs> Good job. All right, so we have Beast uh, doing up smash in neutral. That's one of his favorite things. He's like, yo, you're going to jump. I'm going to up smash you. I'm going to forward throw. This, uh, this move is a kill move now. Haha, uh -huh. thank you, Sakurai. You know, I just love Charizard's F throw as well. I, I like all of his animation, but um, his F throw in particular is very similar to like how like, you know, how a dog picks up like its cubs. Um, not cubs, whatever, whatever the hell baby dogs are called. They're um, dogs by the scruff. Yeah, yeah, but by the scruff. The yeah, puppies? exactly. The cubs. Ah, little cubs. That's adorable. Well, anyways, like, like the dog, like they pick them up by the scruff. You know, that's exactly what Charles is doing. Just say, like, get out of here. There's a yoinks Pikachu by the scruff. You tell me it's like when a when a when a parent dog picks up their dog by the scruff of their neck and just eats them out the door. Mhm. Mm Absolutely. Happens all the time. Every day. Cats don't do that. Dogs, though. They, they, they just throw their, their young off of his PS2 all the time. Yo, I see me set up a new, like, a new, like, tech chase, and I get terrified, because I know what's happening. That yeah, could have gone out air. so quickly. You're nice for it, Air. Can't believe it. <laughs> Why are you sighing? Are you not enjoying this intense smash action? Intense smashery? Sma smashery. Oh wow. Smack smashing. Did you see that positioning for Beast? He perfectly read where the mouse was gonna go with his quick attack. Uh, and at last didn't even get a kill off of it. Belly on Fortnite for sure. Good use of the stall, but I'm so surprised that Charizard's big old head didn't get yoinked. Alright, so uh, Beast actually holding a pretty good lead, and this is honestly one of the best positions to be in against Pikachu. Uh, this character is really good when he's playing from ahead. However, when he's playing from a deficit, he has to really kind of turn it up because he has to figure out how to get that kill. And it's not something that comes super easily to him, especially like if you're playing defensively. Alright, Beast getting his back air, and he was looking for the neutral air dodge. Good job on Mouse Rat not falling for it. Oh, baby, that was uh, one hell of a thunder. You sound like a detective from the 60s. Oh, baby. Oh, honey, that was one hell of a <laughs> Very nice. Beast, back at it. Flare blitzing back right onto the center stage. Mouse got you gotta get a kill, buddy, if you wanna still be in this game. Yo, what Beast you... back at it again with the sick Charizard getting F smash in the face. F smash surviving. Oh, F smash didn't kill. So I believe Pikachu's F smash actually has more knockback the further you are from it, but because uh, Charizard was so close. Yeah, it might, have, it might have gone like the sour in between the hit. Yeah. When Beast stands on a platform, as Ivy Soil with his shield up, he's either A going through down air or B going through up air. There are no buts and ifs about it. That's what he does every single time. Sometimes he's like, yo, you're gonna jump into my up smash. Look at that, look at that, look at that. He lands on a platform, he waits, and he's like, hmm, it's a big actual up air. Oh boy. Yo, nice forward air. Let me get that vine whip. Let me get a medium vine whip. Oh, never mind. No, no vine. Nice yeah. quick attack right onto Charizard, but unable to follow up after it, actually. All right, eat your puppy. Grab him by the scruff of his neck and eat him off the stage. Oh my, he didn't have it. That was so scary. That was He's having a tough time with this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go jab. Yeah? Yep. Yeah? Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
<sighs> I've never seen Charles H. Jab kill before, so that was definitely new for me. Uh, that was definitely an experience. There was this one time uh, while I was helping Dill pick up Trainer that, like, he was Squirtle at, like, absurdly high percent, and I was Charizard, and I was just, like, standing in place doing jab one, two, three, over and over and over, and he's like, why are you doing this? And then he got hit, and he was just like, oh my god! And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby almond dies. Very nice. It was really funny. Yeah, it sounds pretty fun. Hmm. All right, we have game two, uh, Mouserat, uh, Beast up 1-0 versus Mouserat. Very nice. Good job. Good job, Beast. I'm proud of you, buddy. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. I've had nothing but faith in you. That being said, look at these up here. We're just good. Mouserat already dealing 28%, starting those nerd loops a little bit, but I feel like he could have continued them a touch longer. But that being said, uh, Beast says, you know what, man? You got you got these fancy confirms. I got back throw back here. Eat this 27% and you might lose your stock too. <gasps> Ooh, almost getting spiked uh, into the blast zone, but making it back. That Maybe is not. hilarious. I love that interaction. That was you great. You know, this is really is the ultimate. Uh, if you get hit by this, it's your own fault. Kind of move. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, don't don't get in the way when my floor blitz goes off. Good use of the T-Jill just to cover himself, really threw Beast off of his rhythm, forced him to stop his edge, go right then and there and let Mouse go recover high. Um, right now, he dragged down Nails, doing so much for Mouse got definitely Beast has I don't even know what he could do about it at this point. Ugh. That was, that was a nasty interaction. I've never seen back here just like Yankee on some platform like that, but you know what? First time for everything. And he's back at it. You know, call him British because that's a tea bag. <laughs> oh, I'm proud of that one. Because <laughs> British people like to drink tea. <laughs> uh, what you doing, Dara? Is this what your life is? Yeah, just commentating Xeno, making bad puns. That's, what, that's, that's how it goes these days. All right. I guess it's not that bad. Mm-hmm. As long as you enjoy it. Why is he alive at 183? Because it's Pikachu. And Pikachu's a little dumb, little dumb rodent. Little, little baby man. Oh, little never baby mind. boy. He's dead. Oh, it is. Gonna be able to kill. Uh, nice switch reading. Just like a nice little like, change in his approach and momentum there. Just able to hit Mouse Guard. Reclaim the stage for himself. But one back here. Two back here. Three back here. You can't go any further than that. Oh no, that's a really bad situation for Charizard, but he got back. Yes, sir. And honestly, I do like the way that Beast tries to treat ledge trapping as Charizard. Rather than taking the mentality of keeping your opponent as offstage as long as possible, sometimes he just really defaults to like, I'm going to, I have a 1 in 10 shot of killing you at 30%. If I don't get it, it's fine. I'm playing neutral. If I get it, congrats, you died at 30%. You know? That's gonna be the up throw maybe, but no, fantastic mash coming through Beast. Doing what he does best in a practical application. Good stuff out of oh, Flavor It's using the T-Jolt, that was excellently spaced. Interesting that he didn't go for the down smash show. I don't think Mouse Rat was just confident that it would kill at that point. Didn't want to stale it either. Um, whenever he just starts falling with those nails, you know he's looking for it. So, Mouse Rat <laughs> is counter teabagging him. He's not taking up. Wow, good use of the uh, thunder there. But, like, he could have moved forward a little bit. He could have controlled the spacing a little bit better. Um, he's getting tilted by it, I think. Yeah, Mouse Rat just, is just teabagging back, and now we're, we're, do we're oh nothing. It's exactly as I said before, like once you teabag and the other person starts teabagging, you kind of got in their heads a little bit. 
There's just tea everywhere. It's just spilling. Just coming out of your pockets, you have just an endless supply of tea leaves. It's wonderful, but it's also terrible. And that's on what? That's on Boston. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely had like a moment of shame after they said that one. Just felt like it just, the shame just washed over you. Mm -hmm. As long as, as uh, it's a good first step towards improvement, is, is realizing right now, the it looks like Mouse God has something brewing, and yes, he does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> able to successfully get beast recovery and we it right back to one one, making this a completely even set. Had it not been for the fact that Mouse God is on winning side, and Beast has a long, long way ahead of him if he wants to win. Did you catch that, by the way, when I said brewing? Like, yes, I, under I understood. Thank you, Dara. Whoa, You're so I, punny. I try, I try my best. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Can't, can't believe this. What has this child done to the House of 3000 stream? Polluted it. Ready, back at it. At PS2. You know the vibes. Yeah, no, uh, this is the beast this is the beast classic and Mouse Rat's willing to uh to help him come back here every mm -hmm. time. That's a smart aggressive um option out of this advantage that recognizing that Beast always wants to go through the back here in that position. It's for it comes out, you know. Uh he has definitely has a frame advantage to put it out. What a brave landing. That could have gotten south so quickly, but it definitely worked out for him. Um sort of. Never mind. Didn't. He dead. I lied. Not to, uh, trying to set a little something up. He was trying to read like a preemptive early defensive option, perhaps a neutral air dodge or directional air dodge. Hence him standing still, and thus was unable to find it. Good use of the upper to cover the landing on the platform. We see Mouse Cut respecting Beast Space every so slightly, making sure he doesn't get hit by those falling nose, because boy oh boy can Beast really convert those into something menacing. He's gonna go for Floyd Woods. What? Read of the century. And that's on what? That's on libraries. That's on literature. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Having said, 153%. Mouse Guard needs to get a kill as soon as possible. Otherwise, this rage is going to start working through Beast's favor really, really quickly. This is the drag down, no down smash. This is going to be the up smash. Don't oh, no, jump no. into the fire blitz. Please. Please, you little rat baby. I beg you. Stop jumping into the fire. Uh, that dash attack was so aggressive, and I really feel like he had the time to throw out a better option. Finally able to kill with up air. Huh. I mean, I guess. Sure, why not? One back air. Two back air. Not gonna go for the third one. Instead, just goes for the TJ trying to give him so he's tethered. Not able to find it, though. He has to be careful about the way that Beast is circulating around those platforms, because he's always, always, always gonna be looking for those up airs and down airs. Nice shield, perfectly timed to just to be able to get that upper out as well. But Pikachu being in such a perilously high percent, he's gonna eat that forward and, and absolutely explode. This is now Scratch edge guard. Is he gonna be able to take it? No. He initiates his down air a little bit too late and too close to the ground, and thus was unable to get any hits. Now into dash attack. This is looking really, really scary right now, but Beast is still able to make it back. Is he going to be able to fight his way out of the corner? Yes, he is, as Mouse retreats every so slightly and gives him space. Mouse just really wants to get some kind of damage on Beast right now that's going to lead to a kill. Try to get him in some kind of 50-50 situation. Good T-Jolt at the ledge. Beast making a major error, but not Mouse not capitalizing on it properly. Mouse is in fortunate. need of a major comeback. Mousrat needs to not get grabbed right now. Wow, bro, that dash attack is nuts. You know, see the money nuts? Beats the eye. That was impeccable. Granted, it was just like the eye away, but it was still pretty good. You know, I'm gonna give him credit where it's due. Stop. No, that doesn't oh, work. No. You should have just forward aired him. Yep. Like, 
Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Look at Pikachu clenching his teeth. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh. Oh, he's gonna bite through his jaw at that. Everyone did great, especially you, Charizard. You did the best. Yeah, Ivy so Squiggle, you guys, it was okay. You guys did fine. I mean, I don't know. Ha, <laughs> numbers, you're so funny. What did Jonathan Numby say? Now that's what I call it, getting some tail. I got that in John's voice, too. <laughs> I, I visualize John yep. saying that. Pog Champ. You're quoting. Why is everybody talking about Gex? Like, I swear I'm in several group chats and people keep raving about Gex. Gex is the Bex. Alright, we're stuck here. Oh, never mind. Black detector. <laughs> Black detector broke and I couldn't press anything for like five oh. seconds and I was like, oh lord, what? We're doomed. This is just nah. the, this is just our new life, bro. Yeah, but we're fine now. It worked out. You know, people are like, "Yeah, this is the new normal." That that's the new normal, Devin. Is the lag detector being broken and you can't do anything? Yeah. Mm. Just eats all the inputs of the PC. It's terrifying. <laughs> oh God! How can we stop such a monster? Wait, I will be right back. I have to quickly powder my nose. I'm so sorry that it's in the middle of the set, but I promise I will return shortly for more exciting Charizard okay. and Pikachu action. My. All right, so we have um, really the third game. Beast up two one. We still got to beat one one more set minimum. Uh, I'm sure Mouserat does not want to give him the reset though. Beast is an extremely dangerous person to be uh to be fighting in a reset situation. And he's not the kind of one. He's, you really don't want to take him lightly. All right, good. Smash is keeping Beast off the stage. This is a really good start for Mousetrap, but he's got to find some way to establish his damage and really, uh, and just kind of get in and just do what he needs to do to, to win the set. Let's. All right, good flare blitz from Beast. He's getting back to the stage. He's trying to play this nice and safe. But that back throw should be enough. Ah, not quite. Very nice DI from uh, Beast. All right. Mastrap managing to take the first stock. Which is done. He's getting a good amount of damage on Mousetrap, but he's got to find some. Uh, he's got to find some kind of way to kill. Let's kind of be safe, and taking that thunder puts him in a really perilous, really perilous position. Uh, he's not going to be. He has to try to figure out how to take an entire stock in this character that plays very evasive, which would be a really tough ask. Uh, Mousetrap is in a pretty good position to take this two game three, as long as he's able to keep. Beast from really fighting, and that Thunder almost clipping Beast's wings. There was a very strong chance that would have gone right past Mousetrap, and that would have been the game right then and there. I can tell you, Beast is trying to get something started. He's trying to get some kind of hit where Mousetrap is on the back foot, but he hasn't been able to, to really successfully land it. And Mousetrap reading the jump onto the platform, and the foyer off the stage is going to be enough to do it. And Mousetrap makes us a two all set. And if he's able to take this next match, that's going to be the end of the bracket. Mm -hmm. 
Iron Beast, uh, he's almost definitely gonna go back to PS2. There's not really any, there's not really any doubt whether that's gonna happen or not. Uh, the big question really is gonna be, uh, what kind of adaptation is he going to make in order to overcome the way that Mouse Rat's been playing the past few games? Because Mouse Rat changed up his playstyle quite a bit in order to try to figure out how to better deal with Beast. Alright, neither of them are really looking to engage directly. They're both, they're both trying to pull this, uh, they're both playing very disengaged with one another. Which is very understandable. Whoever, uh, whoever gets hit comboed first is in a very bad position. And the person that has the percent lead will play from a position of advantage, which is crucial in this matchup. Alright, Beast getting something started, getting some good combos. I saw 30%, not reading the jump, the run off the platform though, properly. I, say, I love the way that Beast mixes up his follow-ups to come back to him. I feel like every single time he's just able to catch up to the opponent's defensive options so well. Either back to go back to the back to go dash attack, or back to go up tilt. He is so, so creative. But the way that he does it, now he's got the attaining a pretty early stock lead for himself. This is a really, really critical game for him to win because as soon as he wins this, it is over. If he loses this, he's going to have to play the test of endurance and it's just going to last so much longer than it has to. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, that's really that uh, that difficult thing. It's like, what well, your opponent is able to set you, that's, that's a really bad precedent. And it does a lot of mental damage to you and it also helps boost up your opponent a lot. Just because they're like, okay, this is definitely doable. I know I've taken games from them. But closing out that set is so important, and Mouse Rat is going to do whatever he can at that time. I love that way for Mouse Rat, just maybe trying to anticipate a falling aerial for Beast, maybe trying to catch him on the way from something. It's a really nice momentum uh, shift, just to maybe try to catch Beast off guard. Good use of the quick attack, just a cross up shield, um, and get right back onto the stage. Wow, just keeping Pikachu in the coin, and it's just one of the most difficult aspects of the matchup. You just have to be perfect with your positioning. Yeah, both players are really just looking to open up the other one, uh, but they're not trying to overextend at any point, which is really important. Like, you can't, uh, when you're fighting a character like Pikachu, it's very important that you don't overextend at any point. You, have, you want to try to get them into a position where they're trying to get back to the stage. Oh, and a really good up smash for Beast, barely, barely not killing. The second one manages to close it out. Very nice. Mm -hmm, but 105 percent uh mouse at this point Kipper f smash was able to kill charizard despite being so heavy dying still just to me relatively early uh this is looking really tough to beast right now starting those nair loops the up tilt nair but unfortunately connects the final hit and pops beast up that could have been easily a couple of more loops for sure Alright, Mousetrack getting some very basic combos on Beast. Beast has not been able to really uh, get any kind of footing to stop, but oh, I don't think I think that Nair did not send uh, Beast. It did not send Mousetrack the way that Beast wanted him to go. I've got to say, I really like these low recoveries coming to Mousetrack. Um, they honestly just do a lot for him. The like he gives himself the time to react to see if Beast is going to go for one of his like, you know, wacky down is. Um, and, and honestly, Beast has no choice but, but to try to two play with like F tilt or something at that point. <gasps> oh no, is that no. Thunder? Oh my god, a great tech from Beast, but he uh, he didn't have a second jump to get him back out from under the stage. So he had to just let it rip and hope that he was close enough to the edge, and he wasn't. How unfortunate. And just like that, uh, Mouse Rat is our Xeno Wi-Fi 19 champ. Woohoo! Let's go, Mouse Rat! Beast in the chat being like BGs. Can we, can we get a Mouse Pog? Can we get a Pog Rat? Any, yeah, any Mouse Pog Pogs or Pog Rats? Please? We've been here for 19 weeks. <laughs> it feels like it's been a century! Uh, it feels like 19 weeks, not going. That's that's a pretty low. That's a pretty long time. 
Ugh. The mouse who takes another one. One day, a psychokinetic fellow will jump into bracket and defeat the and defeat the evil that is uh, mouse who. I mean, WebJP's one taking sets off a mouse rat and one Xeno you know, Wi-Fi's before. That's right. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Those psychokinetic fellows. 